One of my favorite shortcuts for creating a quick chart is using the function 11 key or the F11 key. So here we are in our data and this works especially well if you have a small amount of data. I'll show you why. See if I glide over quarter one and quarter two absences and basically what the F11 key does is it creates a basic bar chart for anything that you highlight. So I've highlighted all this data and now I'm going to hit F11 and you can see very uh, quickly there that I've got a wonderful chart but frankly probably not very readable because there's just too much there. This works much better with small amounts of data. Here I go. Uh, instead of highlighting all of that, I'm just going to highlight the first few records there for quarter one, quarter two absences. Now when I hit F11, now this is looking much better. I can see one and two for each of these six students that I've highlighted. You will notice, however, that the students' names are not here. And there's a good reason for this, because we did not highlight their names when it is that we created this chart. So, in order to do that, we've got to put those names next to the data that we're trying to chart. I need to go ahead and hide all of this data in between. So I right click, click on hide, and now when I highlight their names as well as the data, click, uh, just tap on F11, and you can see toward the bottom there the names of the students that match the data. So really the only thing missing here is perhaps a title. And the way to do that, since we're already on the chart, up here in the top right, chart tools should be highlighted. And because that's highlighted, we'll have the option over here with chart layouts. So if I click on chart layouts and choose the one that has a title, I'll then go ahead and get a title. Now if I click inside here, I can go ahead and change this. So this would be quarter one and quarter two oops, absences for my small group. And just like in Microsoft Word, I can highlight that under home. I could increase the font. And if I want to move it, I'm just going to hover over this thing. And, and there it is. And actually, it's probably just as good right where it was. All right. Now we've got a chart that we created just by highlighting data and pressing F11.